Simon, so much is being made about uh, takeovers at clubs. So much has been written and said about Manchester United now that the Glazers apparently are willing to sell, apparently, for about £5 billion plus. Mm. The thing is, are they going to get there? Now there are reports uh, that investors linked to the Qatari royal family will make a bid to buy Manchester United before the end of this week. Yeah. So we now this, if you like, if you want to call it a soft deadline of this Friday is approaching yeah. for the first round of proposals. Um, from what I was hearing last night, there's something like 20 interested parties Indicative in the bids, mix. Indicative bids, that's what it's yeah. called. Indicative bids. Comes down to about four of them being serious bidders. So Jim Ratcliffe is the only public bidder to put his name forward so far. But the Qatari interest, as we know, is there and is real. Whether or not they're linked to the Qatari royal family remains to be seen. What does this come down to, though? Because you've been there and done it when you acquired a Premier League club. Should the size of an investor's cheque be the only overriding winning factor in any bid for Manchester United? Is that what gets you the club? Uh, no, because obviously the source of funds and where you've got that money from comes into play. But notwithstanding that, that's the current guidelines. The guidelines are that as long as you can trace the legitimacy, the, the, the legitimacy of funds... Um, then you're in a situation where, unless there's political ramifications behind behind the potential bidder that could jeopardise it, you're away. So it will come down to some extent to the biggest bidders. It will come down to those that have the most money. Now, of course, that can come with a sting in its tail because you'll have a variety of pressure groups and organisations that if it's a Middle Eastern consortium will want to bring human rights into the conversation and the argument that the Premier League should fall into that situation of optics and, of course, realities, um, becomes a debatable perspective because then you move into the territory of what is Manchester City. People will say it's not a state-owned football club, but Sheikh Mansour sits in the government. Where does the source of funds come from? Look, and then you look at Newcastle, and if anyone thinks, if anyone, I don't care which the most hysterical Newcastle fans, that this isn't a state-owned football club, then they're mad, deranged. You know, MBS owns PIF. PIF is a state-owned sovereign fund. PIF own Newcastle. End of discussion. The only reason they wanted to give this ruse of separation of powers right. is because they wanted to get around arguments from UNICEF and people of that nature. And from if what we hear is true, and it's, it's, the Qataris bid is always boosted well, by Beck. Well, well, Beckham, David surely, Beckham's been asked back. surely to God, David must have been on a retainer. I mean, he's been running around in the souks of Qatar telling everyone which particular spice he likes. Yes. So with that in mind, he must be on a retainer. He must be, let's call Dave. He'll give us the uh, the heads up, albeit, don't forget, David is a club owner himself with everyone else's money into Miami. Of course he is. So how can he advocate for the buying of another football club? Of course that he is. That could be influence. Yeah, but he said... Undue yeah. influence. What would David want to return? Yeah, I must say, in his defence, he had the good grace to speak to me when we were over in Qatar and he didn't do much else. <laughs> Listen, he's, he's already said, has he not? Yes. That he would be willing, he'd be open to talks to put his name to the Qatari bid for Manchester well, United. Well, you know, there goes the brass neck again. They don't have any shame, do they? He we can't, he's see. a hypocrite. You can't be on the front page of magazines making yourself out to be an LGTB campaigner, which is entirely your gift if you want to be, and then run off to a country that doesn't recognise those rights. Okay, That's Friday. called hypocrisy. Friday's the day. Friday's the day. The soft deadline. Uh, Friday is a fast approaching for the first round of proposals and bids to buy Manchester United. You could come in with, with a late one, possibly? Or well, well, as a hot dog seller there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's my contribution. Kiora. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.